All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Saturday night Dota 2. It's time for some university action. It's Swansea Storm Slugs versus Hearts Gold. I am General Juvicus, and the draft is underway. This is a scrim match, a best of one between these two fierce opponents. Already the bands are underway. There goes Weaver and Tree and Protector also going to get taken out. Vengeful Spirit. I mean, all of these heroes are very meta bands right now, so nothing unexpected so far. No kind of respect bands coming out. And Death Phoenix. Final ban then, gonna come through now for Swansea Storm Slugs, Frassy. Having a little bit of a puzzler. Frassi, of course, who quit Dota 2 uh, during the summer and uh, is coming back to form now. The Clink's ban and the, the Ricky ban. Ricky, of course, super ban hammered. Ban hammered? No, nerf hammered by the frog in yesterday's patch. So, not sure how much of a threat he is at the moment. But they will lead with the Winter Wyvern pickup for Swansea Storm. A little bit of wave clear coming out there, trying to head off any kind of Phantom Lancer or uh, Broodmother type push builds. I guess Beastmaster as well. Be interesting to see what 1 2 combo Heart School pick up here. I expect it'll be the uh, 5 and the 4, or maybe the 5 and the 3. It'll lead with a silencer. Um, slightly nerfed uh and the early levels but still i think reaches his damage potential that he would get around about level 50. I, uh, I had to ha had to restart the stream because I realized I was last streaming at XCOM, so I had no delay, and that would be a little bit unfair. If anyone watching? Okay. Earthshaker gonna come through. Oh, it was a Pudge second picked up by Hearts Gold. I like it. There were some buffs. Hero is still very strong. A great positional hero. Combination with the silencer as well. The lockdown is there to hold them in place while his dot ticks down. Well, there will be no in Joker, and they're going to take a little bit of time now thinking about the first ban of the second phase. Five seconds left. What's it going to be, Jeeves? We have the Winter Wyvern Drow still on the table, although the two melee core, well, not cores, but supports, they're roaming fours. They're not really going to be roaming, they're just going to dominate the offlane, respectively. It's kind of indicate. Ursa, also nerfed. I would quite like to see an anti mage um, last pick here. I think still looks pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, Luna's still in an okay place, but obviously she's a situational pick. The same goes for Dry. I don't know. We did see um, Secret lose twice with Dry yesterday. Alk is pretty strong. He's, he feels pretty good at the moment. Um, Phantom Lancer obviously got a bit of a nerf. Terrorblade got sort of super nerfed. No ban for Hearts Gold. Jerfy having a little think. Five seconds left. Have to deal with. I 
There's no in-game audio, Jeeves. Fix that. I don't think anybody's watching in-game, but... I think, um... Oh. Probably that one's better, yeah. Monkey King. Okay, and then we're going to get the axe straight off. Uh, or Wraith King. Wraith King's not too scared of axe. Feels okay, man. They're going to get... Uh, what was it? Skywrath Mage axe were pretty brutal for a while. If that still holds true... And I don't really see a place from here unless they were to send him mid. I'm not sure he's chunky enough to hold that position. Rux, of course, will have all. Zeus. Alright, yep. Yeah. The Nimbus is still quite fearsome. Did get nerfed on the old Arc Lightning. Um, just the flat mana cost, I think, was increased by... 10. So, no, maybe that was Sakuchi. Life Stealer. Feels pretty good, obviously. Um, he can enrage. Still need to get something to do with Silencer, though, maybe. Final ban, what do you want to ban it? I guess they want to ban it a mid for sure. Heart school, something that annoys Zeus. I'd probably take out the sniper. Um EA. Maybe the DK. I mean they want something that's gonna have a vehicle, so Storm Spirit's probably the most threatening thing, actually. And they're dealing with Storm Spirit at the moment. They have Pageant Axe, and both of those are kind of you have an okay lockdown, but it's a little bit unreliable. So I think the storm ban has to be 100%. Unless Zeus is a safe laner, but that makes no sense. They're going to be okay here anyway. They just need to pick up something to deal with the f physical right click carry for the Wraith King and the Life Stealer. Uh. Roll feels okay. Vector feels okay as well. With the Winter Wyvern, oh, you're not going to kill your teammate too fast. Um, Roll will murder them. The Animage still feels really good as well for Heart Attack. Yeah. Ten seconds. They don't have much lockdown though. But unfortunate. Their catch is pretty poor. They got a Pudge and an Axe Blink, but still, it's it feels weak. Final ban. I, these guys need, need to target one of those heroes. Um, it's not going to be a brood pick, so I don't think they have to worry about that too much. Go battle fury, life stealer. Bargain, yeah. Maelstrom. They will ban the specter. I think the specter probably goes toe to toe with the wraith king pretty well. The troll warlord goes really well here as well, though. Luna's still an okay shout. These guys need something that can jump in though, so I think they might go for the Quap, but um, I don't know how favoured she is right now. The Tinker, I guess, is probably still on the table as well. Oh, Sana. The Dragon Knight is a good pickup regardless, but doesn't feel as exciting as the other ones I've mentioned. Wraith King, of course, can get a blink. Earthshake can get a blink. So there are vehicles available for Life Stealer. Maybe they could focus on something that just by Zeus, like the Sniper. Uh, just well wow with the range. I don't know. Rana, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, the Moonlight Shadow obviously allows them to get much closer, get on top of people. Arrow combo is pretty good. Everything they've got there as well. Even the slow makes it easier to set up from the Life Stealer. Ten seconds. Not all doom and gloom for Heart's Gold, though. Five seconds left. That right click carry.
An anti mage still looks great here. They do have the Earth Shaker Wraith King locked down for them, but I guess with Ags after farming item. Okay. I guess Bloodseeker feels kind of meh here, just basically the Wraith King and the Lifesteal fuck you up. Um, that's my only concern, like obviously it's great for Mirana, it's pretty good against Winter Wyvern. Or Shaker, it can go two ways if you've got the Blade Mail, but the Wraith King Lifestealer can be a little bit iffy to deal with. But really good comboed up with um, Durfee obviously up close. Um, see, uh, we'll see how well it goes for them. It's going to be broken down like this on Swansea Storm Slugs. We'll have Ren on the Winter Wyvern, Frassy on the Earthshaker, Reality Check on the Wraith King, Fort Chester on the Lifestealer, and False Santa on the Mirana. <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> All the cough as well. Fuck off. It was me. I coughed. Um, for Hearts Gold, it'll be Ravi on the Silencer. It'll be uh, Lois on the Bloodseeker, Shurfi on the Zeus. Um, Yajul on the axe and uh, oh, don't even know. Putananza Vigalakaza on oh, it's Babano. On the pudge, I am General Jeevicus. This is Swansea versus Hearts. Best of one scrim uh, preseason match. Let's get our Dota 2 on. All right, you should check their items, Jeeves. Good idea. Oh, look at the mangoes for Dyer. Oh, they're going to win this game so easily. They've got eight mangoes. I kid you not. That is a juicy assortment of fruit. Goodness. Meanwhile, that's pretty sad for the other guys. Have Get this three mango gaming for Yajul. I like your style. Sure, he's gonna go for the old battle hunger uh, method. I mean, they got the two stuns up top, so it's gonna be a pretty brutal lane. Ravi gonna be joined by Lewis, the tiny dancer on the Bloodseeker. Uh, should be okay laning phase for him. He's gonna probably get. Picked a few times, I think. Guns are brutal. Yeah, called it, man. The stun coming through there, trying for it. They will get it as well. It will be reality check with the bounty grab there. Lewis trying to get the other one and he's going to be successful. Feels bad, man. We'll have a stun available though in one second. Here it is. One right click was actually cancelled. Probably not going to cost them. It will, in fact, cost them the kill. It seems like. Ooh. On Ravi as a follow up. I doubt it. I know, it, I mean, I like the Bloodseeker here, right, but I don't like the Wraith King and I don't like the Lifestealer. It's not a total killer. Like I say, you do get the talent for Lifesteal and it's not like, it's not totally broke, right? But it just feels, that would be my concerns if I was the Bloodseeker. Oh, I mean, this lane should be fairly even for the first couple of levels. That Arc Lightning was nerfed. Sure, if you're going to need more regens. 
Probably with a little bit of action up top, but... Eh. Where are they going to die, Jeeves? I don't know. The Battle Hunger doing work. There's a hook to follow up. They do have the call. They don't have the call, Jeeves. He's got Battle Hunger level on. There we go. Ren going to be first blood. Obano picks it up there. And up top, Tiny Dancer in trouble himself. Frassi does have the Mango available. Khan throw down the stun. Going to trap him on this side. If he goes for it, there it is. Boom, he ate the Mango. Down he goes. Good creep. Azul. Manning up going in here, but it's uh I don't know, it's just a trade-off really. Courtchester gonna throw down the regen onto Yajul. Don't get any hits in on him though, but it will allow them to trade for a little bit longer. Yajul feeling the pain, but we'll throw out yet another battle hunger onto the winter wyvern. And it really is painful. He needs to get the deny to cancel it off. Um Timing on that can be, I mean, it was very well played by Rajul both times. There were no denies available for good feud. Tempting to steal Akari's last hits in that situation. And your Akari probably be okay with that, but that's probably not the best uh, way to come. I don't know, Pudge is really good anyway. I mean, any hero that allows for forced movement and control as part of their kit automatically is in a better situation. Casual in trouble though. Well, they'll be able to run him down here. They're going to see if they can catch him. Two counter helixes. Courtchester are going to have to give up the ghost as the brown boots. Oh no, Ren. You were watching it, Jeeves. It was right in front of you. I see. Nice. Going to bottle up. Bottle up even. A TP back to the lane from Winter Wyvern. Very exuberant. There will be a wraparound to the mid lane. Sherfy in trouble now. Rossi looking for the hunt down. It will be False Santa though that secures it. And up top there will be a little bit of action in return though. I'm going to score it at 2-3. And it's pretty even across all four cores there. If you catch the Babano death, I will. Ren. Oh dear. Battle Hunger, six seconds. He's going to catch him before that, though. The brown boots are really paying off for Yajou right now. He slows him. He throws out the call, but he doesn't have the mana for the Battle Hunger. He does now. Ren, though, going to turn it around with a little bit of healing for himself. Yajou going to get hunted down. The hook is there. Oh, yeah. Babano with the plays. Going to save out Yajou. What a beautiful moment. What a beautiful moment there. Sherfy, do you have a ball? I guess he does, because he didn't use it. Yeah. Um, juicy. 23 and 12. The lane going actually really quite well for this Bloodseeker. Only died the once. Oh, dear. This will be a kill on Uravi. He does manage to use up all his kit. Reality check. Going to get a reality check of his own. And now Frassi going to get run down. There's going to be a lot of damage on him. He's not going to get out of that. He will fall. Actually, Ravi that gets the kill off the back of that feels bad, man. And Rune popped by Zeus after he's thrown False Santa out of lane. If he only got his level 6. False Santa on 129 HP. Oh my god. A little bit more lane efficiency, I think. No, I think Lifesteal has a vehicle though, so he, you can't rupture him until he's on top of you. Like, he picks like an ancient creep and just runs up to you. And then he doesn't want to move when he's on top of you. Oh, Yajo with the call. In comes some damage from the Winter Wyvern Ren doing work. Yajo getting forced back here. He will be gobbled up. And now Babano going to get turned on. Courtchester says, I'll man fight you. Ren, though, going to collect both those kills. Throws out the heal onto Courtchester. It's 6-7 at the 6-minute mark. Barely 1k in it. Things are still pretty even. The 
problem with the life stealer is the slow that he throws on you as Bloodseeker. But I don't know. I, the way I play Bloodseeker, I want to be super mobile all the time. So the Winter Wyvern annoys me. The life stealer annoys me. The Wraith King annoys me because my rupture doesn't kill him. Or Chester. Well, he does. I mean, he has rage available. Oh, he doesn't have open wounds though. He would have open wounds if he had tread switch though. So both. Yes, I, I don't know. I think he just turns on them with the open wounds and eats them. Hudge is actually not there right now. Yajul is on his own, so... Golly, check. Gonna find Ravi up top. Oh, wait. There's actually more happening. Let's see if we can find a third. He will. I think it's the two kills in return, and that is that's really quite nice. Nice amount of um, farm... On the way of the Bloodseeker, has his level 6, hasn't used his Rupture yet. And, uh, yeah, 46 and 15. I'm going to switch over to Net Worth just to get a better feel of how the game is actually sitting right now. That's kind of equal at bit. If you look at the difference, it's almost a thousand gold when obviously 10 last hits is only 500. So those two kills really mounting up for the Bloodseeker. So five kills. Five kills. Yeah, I know, but earlier gold isn't worth as much. Book. What we're talking about, it's well wide. Meanwhile, Frasa going to find Yajul on the bottom line. And there's the stun under the tower. He gets slowed down. Reality check. Going to die, though. I guess Ravi respawned a monster TP and walk over and, like, time it took. Now they're sitting here waiting. The pressure applied to this uh, tier one. No one coming to help it for now. Mid lane still being contested. 8 versus 8 on the Marana and the Zeus. Oh, this is doing work. He's getting it done here. Bit of a chase down. Hudge going deep. We'll wrap it around a bit. Realizes Marana's coming over. There's the arrow. It will hit onto an ancient creep. Now he's waiting for the Bloodseeker and the Silencer to come over. The hook is there. And he will throw out some damage. Ren, though, going to TP in, make things a little bit easier. The silence comes through, but there is going to be death here. Down to go for the Dire. And now Bloodseeker being forced to retreat. Did throw out the Rupture, but unfortunately it's not going to be of much use. There's a stun follow-up, and this looks like a juicy amount of gold. Going to go the way of Radiant here. They can find the kill. Reality check has no mana left. Oh, there's a hook forward. That's kind of beneficial to them. They'll get the kill... And Lewis will survive by the skin of his teeth. False Santa going to find Sherfy though, on the outside there. That's an expensive loss for... Uh... For the dot. I don't know, man. I, sometimes I can cast okay and sometimes I'm garbage. I mean, I just do it for fun, why? Unless they're paying me, and then I do like a total, try and do a total effort. But the last stuff I was doing where they paid me, it's on some TV show in fucking India, so... I've not even seen it, man. I would love to watch it. Thanks, though, man. I appreciate it. Paul Santa has the phase boots on uh, the Aquila finished up. Sharf with the Arcane boots. Looks like he's getting himself... Um, Okay, yeah. Okay, I mean, power's still up, so he has have got plenty of protection there. Bottom lane, though, Yajo caught in the jungle, does throw out the call. Will manage to survive for a little bit longer. Even looking for the kill down on a reality check. Reality check, desperate to get that level 6, I'll tell you what. Will allow him to, uh, oh, Sherfy with the play comes in. He was tombed up, but the magic damage, of course, going through the arrow does connect. He is going to have to stand there looking foolish for a little while, but the hook once again is there. Sherfy with the bottle up now. Will go back in. Bloodseeker looking for the rundown. Finds Morana. Falsana with the TP out on never no HP. Alright, looking for more, but Sherfy didn't have the ult available there. I'd already used it, unfortunately. They hook back in and into the ult. He is actually immune to the damage, but he's not immune to that. There's the stun on the actually gonna use the Mirana ult in TP's Brassy. 
Oh, no, they will keep Babano in place. That's going to help them out. He will dodge out the silence. And now Babano going to get hunted down. That's a big crit from the Wraith King to seal the deal. Sherfe now surrounded by enemies you can't see. Will be collected up by Frassi. 15 and 12. Still less than 1k. Let's see whether or not anything will be taken off the back of this. The fight's not over, Jeeves. They're still going for it. Ravi takes a little bit of damage. Tried to solve up there. Get around. No ult available. Lois looking for something. Wait, Engage doesn't have the... He does have the rupture. Why didn't he just rupture Mirana? We will never know. Does have a blade mail. Aquila and Treads finished up at 11 minutes. Is in a very healthy position indeed. Should be getting a lot more... Oh, they'll pin him down with the ult, but that's actually <coughs> kind of counterproductive for now. Oh, he throws the rupture, but he catches the arrow in the face, and they'll collect. That's a wicked sick. 528 gold going the way of False Santa. And uh, Ravi, they're going to collect False Santa on the backside. Minus two int. Feels bad, man. Spent too long celebrating. Oh, there's a hook on the back side. It's Ren that's going to be caught out into the out. Ravi comes in to try and seal the deal. Will be there for the kill. Up to 8 intelligence stolen out of a possible 28. Or... That's Radiance next for Bloodseeker. Or maybe stops off for the Yasha and a Manta or something. Uh, Sanj and Yasha would be probably, I'd expect, Basher in Abyssal, but... Oh my god, it work! Oh my god. Nice. I mean, they're all just gathered in here in mid anyway, man. I, mean, I don't know what you want me to do. I think we missed, like, maybe three kills, but they weren't really important kills. We were telling a story at the time. It's my excuse. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's getting himself uh, a maelstrom. Oh, big smoke place on the radiant. Here we go now. Across their own jungle. There are many enemies here. They are outnumbered, though. The dire, he was smoked up. Ravi going to pop the smoke. The hook in for Frasse. That actually puts him right in the middle of it. The silence is going to fall before he gets out of that, though. So he won't be able to drop it out. He is actually ruptured up as well. Can't move. Going to get taken out. The Wraith King now. Can he find anything on the back of this? Doesn't look like it. Looked like he kind of focused the Bloodseeker who was actually immune to his damage. So that was quite interesting. But anyway, he does come back from the dead. Now he looks for Lois. Can't run him down. He's too fast on the backside. The dunk from Yajul. Can he find more? Turns around for the call. The silence on top. The arrow comes through. Holds Yajul in place. Bloodseeker going to try and man fight them. That was maybe a little bit over ambitious given the crit type attacks he was facing. The turnaround stun is there. Yajul will fall as well. It's four for one and it's going to be five. Frasse with a lockdown into the echo slam on the creep. The stun comes through and it's Courtchester that's just handed the kill. Just tap him to finish him off. Picks up the double kill and they're looking in a pretty, a pretty good state right now. Arts dropping, I don't know, 5% over the course of that fight in their win chance. Uh oh. I mean, if you're dead, you can't get any much, very much farming done, you know. But Bloodseeker is still top of the bus here. Really like he's kind of farming for the Radiance. How does that help him? Jeez. Uh, the mischance is okay, I guess, against the Wraith King. I sh yeah, on the, pretty much the Maelstrom, I guess. But the True Strike is already on the uh, this thing. Enchant to him gives True, true Strike, so doesn't really help against that. Um, I don't know. I always build. Radiance and Bloodseeker though. It's really good if people are chasing you. The longer they chase you, the more damage they take, the faster you get. So you might be able to get away. Oh, 
Oh no, these purple boys. This could be a problem. Oh no. I think that was worth watching. How did you know, Jeeves? Because those purple bastards, man. They are not Bloodseeker's friend. Especially when he doesn't have bla um, Radiance already. He didn't even have his stout shield on, you know. Small things. The push comes in. Gonna work it out. This tower. Quite a big push. You don't really want to push into that situation. Yajo with a great call. The ult comes through. It's gonna put the Wraith King down permanently. And uh, Earthshaker will fall as well. That, oh dear. That feels kind of real bad for Silencer right now. Surrounded by four of his team. But he's going to get out of it alive. Are you serious? The smoke to make sure he gets out completely. The push will continue. We're just saying how the dire were screwed. And uh, we're losing ground. But here they are with another push in this tier one. A pretty threatened state right now. And from the side, False Santa does have the arrow available as well as the Star Storm. He's got the Maelstrom finished up. Arrow comes through. Will connect on no one. But I hear the Hook Man going to work onto Frassi. There's four on top of him. And it's a bad Fisher though. But they are still able to find him on that high ground. Sure, working his way towards the Ags. The primo item, of course, on uh, Zeus now after it grants Nimbus. A whole extra spell and uh, quite bullshit by all comparisons. Uh, yeah, all comparisons. Jesus, he's only at 1,500 gold off of finishing it. counter push is here and I'm not sure how much they can get done though Ravi able just to hold them off by himself for now denied tower from the bottom there that, that hurts real bad I mean yeah you still gain the terrain but losing the tower um a lot of gold A BKB, uh, yeah, I think I've built BKB maybe twice on Bloodseeker. Um, I should really build it every game. There's an Invoker, but I don't know, man. I've only played like 1,200 games or 1,300 games on Bloodseeker, so I will build it eventually. I'm sure. Whenever I want to win the game, and there's an Invoker in the game, and I get fed up with dying, I build it. Sometimes it's too late. That would be the smart thing to build here. Whoa! That was... Alright, okay. Big smoke play here, I guess. Dyer are gonna make the play for it. Riajul out in front here. Completely showing he's here, saying, Hey, I'm just uh, a poor boy. Farming the lane here. Oh, the wraparound by Babano. He throws the hook. He is catching himself. A life stealer will hold him in place. Is able to get free, but the rupture to pop. He's going to silence him up. The TP will not be cancelled, but he'll just walk out of it for whatever reason. Then he gets dunked down by Yajul. It's one down so far. Reality check with the reality check for Lois. It's done to the face. We'll hold them back for now. Meanwhile, top lane going to get pushed in by False Santa. In use of the space that was created. One of his team died, but he is able to push the tower off the back side of it. That hook was good, but it wasn't quite long enough, and uh, false, Santa, false Santa smelled it coming a mile away. He's still hiding in the trees. No, that's Ren. Killing out here for Ren with the tranquil boots and the wand. He sure could collect a lot of stacks here, though, on the wand. He gets close enough. I think if you're close enough to get the stack from the spell, you're also close enough to take the percent health reduction from the uh, passive, though. 
Link Dagger finished up for Frasse. Feels pretty good at 21 minutes, having that always on initiation for the Lifestealer. Hey, if Lifestealer built Ags, they could put Wraith King inside the Lifestealer and then they could like explode out on people. Yeah, I like Halberd here. I think that's really good actually against Lifestealer. Um, it sticks, right? If you get it off through before he rages. Oh, they will take them down once. In comes Frassi with a massive echo slam onto the stun. A follow up on Ravi. Reality check wishing he had a blink dagger instead of a blade mail. I can tell you what right now, but the next stun will be available. He's not able to throw it though. He is ruptured up while blade mailed. Going to get healed now by Ren, held in place. Sherfy is here to throw out some magic damage. Court Chester trying to run, and there's the BKB up on the Bloodseeker, as we expected. Blade Mail, though, ready to be used. The BKB is timer is up, and now he needs to turn. Throw the silence. Actually, Reality Check going to chase him in a little, but they will just take this tower and back off. Heal up. It's already three down for the Dire. Radiant making more progress. It will be an easy free Roshan if they want it. Yeah, Nimbus with Rapture, Nimbus um, and Blood Rage with Alt, long as it's during a team fight. So, like, you don't get the full damage amp from the Blood Rage with the Alt unless they're within 2200 range of you. So, you want it when it's like a high ground defense or a Roshan fight. It's like, extra 60% damage. Which is at max level. Well, without Ags, it's 4 to 5. Well, plus 60% of that's what 40 is. 10 of it. 340. That's like an extra. No, that's like 50%. Oh. Nice. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's an extra 240 damage. That's insane. That's without Ags as well. What's Ags put up to? 525. Radiance finished up for the life stealer along with a Yasha. The hook is wide on reality check. He's gonna be aware that they're there. And um I don't know if he'll assume there's a ward there. He probably just assumes it was silencer that saw him. They're all gathered up here, maybe for the counter smoke. Silenced up, looking for the way in. Blade Mill is available. San just finished up. They're all TPing out though, relocating to the bottom lane. Silencer's not TPing. Oh, maybe we'll collapse in behind them. Frosty, look at this. Sneaking in. There will be an Echo Slam. Bloodseeker deleted from the game. No opportunity to do anything. No creep wave for now, though, so they're going to have to back off. I really feel to take the Roshan now. The Bloodseeker is down. Sure, Zeus has his ult, but you've got these two meaty cores here um, on the Enrage. So you can definitely pop the bu the bubble. You've got a crit and a life steal. It's an easy, you know, stand a crit and a life steal. Any one of those things, and you can do your Roshan. So there's the Nimbus, though. They will immediately farm it up. Port Chester going to be forced to back off a little bit to heal up. They're moving so swiftly across here. Going to try and do something about it. The hook goes through. Oh my god, if they got Court Chester, that would have been perfect. But unfortunately, he got nothing. The arrow follow-up is there. They're going to run down poor Pudge here. And that's going to be free bacon on top of the Aegis there. Port Chester, just going to be happy just to head off now and farm up the Ancients, no uh, bothered at all. Doesn't feel threatened by all f uh, four of these mighty dire heroes being up and right nearby. Certainly sees them on those wards. Ax getting a Blink Dagger next for Zeus, we like that. Yajul yeah, already has his Blink Dagger, getting himself the uh, Crimson Guard. How do we feel about that? It's actually pretty good because if it's on everyone and they do get Winter's Cursed, you'd help them out from the right click damage there. Reality check, gonna get called. 
but Nimbus on top as well. He does have reincarnation, so he will be back for more. Corchester looking for a win. Yajou going to get blocked off now, and they throw down the damage. Yajou going to fall, and Wraith King going to actually be fine on the back. That does throw out the, oh, the curse. Wait a minute, it's a BKB Bloodseeker. He's going to work on Corchester. The damage is huge. That will be a gone um, Aegis. Now he's looking for more, but everyone is protected by Marana's ult. Now he's in trouble. The stun, he throws out the silence, but he isn't able to find any creeps. Will be collected. Three for an Aegis and a Marana. That feels real bad for Dyer right now. Can Radiant capitalize on this and take some objectives, though? Deep waves. Here they come. Maybe they can definitely, maybe they can definitely, maybe get a tier one, uh, tier two here. Oh, the skeleton army will make it more than possible. We'll burn through it, no problem at all. Maybe actually be able to push up onto the tier three. These skeletons are left after it falls. Four. We'll have Bloodseeker and the Pudge up. It's a tall order. It's time to back it, boys. There's no more that can be done here today. You already lost your ages. Your only hope is to try and push in those side lanes and get Roshan next time it comes up. Oh, Ren's getting himself a four staff. It's actually finished up. It would be nice if it was being able to be delivered to him, but I think probably they are stacking that courier for now. Yule's finished up for Frassi, and the vehicle is on already. Blink Dagger in hand. Look for the perfect initiation. It will be Ravi that spots it out. Wait a minute, they're all surrounding you. He does go forward. In comes the Zeus from the side, though. Out pops Corchester onto Yajul. The call into the blade mills there. The dunk isn't able to quite get it off yet. Yajul getting run down here. Corchester munching up on him. Now you'll turn on to Ravi. The Radiance doing work. The Pudge Hook kind of saves Ravi, but I think they wish it was on the Lifestealer. He will go to the high ground and be perfectly safe for now. Mirana going to throw out the Moonlight Shadow. Everyone's invisible. The dust goes out. The Rupture onto Lifestealer. Thought he was safe. The silence. Oh, the Rupture hook is there. Down he goes. They will chase down Ren on the backside. Then Nimbus to show where he is. And now reality check. Getting yet another reality check. There will be an ult available. He's going to come back into a silence. Not able to turn for the stun. Going to be hunted down. Dyer showing some of their metal here. On a triple kill for Lewis actually on the Bloodseeker. The counter push, they will take this tier 2 I imagine, there's 3 buybacks available and uh, Earthshaker going to keep people at bay it seems. Babano looking for the hook, the fisherman's friend is here. All Santa with a little bit of a cheeky split push, runes will spawn in 30 seconds. Be worth about 1,000 gold across the map. It's going to be a priority. See how they handle. Babano is set up for that top one. We'll see whether or not he sticks around. And already Lifesteal are going to TP up top. It looks like they're going to try and get at least two. You say that, but they've abandoned bottom. Runes. Runes. <coughs> So they will collect two from the side. Babano decides he doesn't want a rune at all. Never liked that guy, honestly. They're going to trade it two for two when they had complete map control. Alright. Well, I mean, they gathered up. They got double damage on to Mirana. Roshan not going to be available for at least two and a half minutes. That's what they're waiting for. Maybe they can apply pressure elsewhere in the meantime, but Dyer all about this bottom lane for now. The entire force is here. Guess they just want to push into tier twos. Oh.
Double catapult wave. Enraged up. Oh, TP coming in from Frosty. He's looking for some auction. Goes in. There will be a court chester inside. Yajo gets munched up, but the tower gets taken regardless. He will take that space up top. Babano finds Ren. The silence there to finish him off. There's no getting out of it. Ravi is a little bit too far forward. The Radiance Burn on the Illusion doing work. They will try and munch him up, but he's able to TP out in time. Frosty just too short with his Fisher. He said. Albert finished up for Wraith King. He's had quite enough of Bloodseeker's nonsense. And uh, the same options, of course, going out of the way of the Bloodseeker. Perfectly called, of course, by uh, Bill there. Did he get a Radiance? No. No, he went BKB. You were, yeah, he didn't even get the Radiance. Damn. I don't think it's good here anyway, so. BKB next for Wraith King. He's real close to it. That was a Crimson Buckler finished up for... Oh, wow. We're getting um, the Lotus Orb. The Air Sugar. Frosty. How much gold is he Oh, wait. Never mind how much gold he's got. Ravi going to get eaten up. The quick pick off there. The blink into the assassination. Um, no real chance to respond. I guess you could have got a Nimbus on top. I mean, but you, I mean, he was dead in less than five seconds, so you can't even take in. Yeah, Jewel is a tanky, tanky boy, though. 17 armor. Plus a million when he calls. On his own. That's going to be a TP across from Lifestealer. They're just going to have to be careful. Has Lifestealer got a Blink Dagger? Is he thinking about a Blink Dagger? Uh, Radiance, Manta. Jungle farming, waiting for the Roshan to spawn. He will be up in one minute and 13 seconds for sure. I will check now, but unfortunately, you have to wait. BKB is finished. Dragonlance is next. Dragonlance is finished. Yasha is Yo, Manta. Still waiting for the BKB Aru. Oh, I like this glimmer cape for Ren. Almost there. The ult from Mirana. This is what I was talking about. It will allow them to get close. Frassi equipped with the blink dabber. He, dagger. The blink dabber? He's got the blink dabber. He's going to be able to dab right on top of them. And uh, pop out his echo, his echo dab. And then they're all going to be, they're all going to be dead. Almost 18k net worth, but Lifestealer holding his own on 17k, keeping up the uh, keeping up with the Joneses at 35 minutes. 7k net worth lead now, though, and uh, Swansea managing to swing it back into their favor for like the first time. 27 minutes there. They will get this Roshan now. It seems like they're in a pretty good position. He's about to spawn right now. Huh. Guess he's up, right? Is that what it is? Right. Yeah. They do. Both sides are going to see it now. Okay, with the Nimbus. They see what's happening, though, immediately. Only has two skeletons stored up. Would have been quite useful. Haru in from the back. Frosty are going to be healed up. Now I'll start to work it down. They are all moving over, getting ready for the jump, though. Bloodseeker comes in from the top. Silence is ready to be dropped on top. There it is. The ult comes through. It doesn't do much damage. The hook, though, they do find the Wraith King. He does have his ultimate available. He will be back for more. 
are going to smoke up immediately and come in. The arrow is beautiful, catches the Pudge and knocks him down for five seconds. And then Ren going to get caught out here. He is disarmed, but that's a dead Wraith King. They find the kill. Yajul comes in, tries to save the Bloodseeker, who is getting hunted down by everyone. He went a little bit too deep and uh, Lysleer jumped out on top of him. Now he's all over Babano, looking for another kill. The Radiant's doing work. Yajul will go down as well it's four for two and they will be able to finish off the Roche who is at half health it's ages and cheese this time round only buybacks available I mean they're gonna have 55 seconds without the blood seeker no matter what but can they get anything done all of the tier three uh, tiers are tier twos are down you're gonna have to look at getting a tier three tower at bottom Creep wave isn't in a great place, but already Ren is down there. If he was to push the creep wave to meet them after the Roche pu push, maybe to get something done, but it's still gonna be too slow. We'll only have 30 seconds now. So many wards here. Octarine core for Zeus. That's going to ramp things up a little bit. Here you like spells. I got you an Octarine Core so I could cast spells while I'm casting spells. The Abyssal Blade is pretty deadly as well. What do they have to deal with them? They don't, I mean, they don't have an Abyssal Blade of their own. It's a Lincoln Sphere next for the Bloodseeker. Smoke Plate. in the front, ready to break off the smoke against it. Problem. Don't have any wars, but they're looking, they're so close. Did they notice the creep wave there? They will spot out Yajul. Frasse looks for the block, will find it, blinks in, there it is. The hook to save him though. They decided to save the jump out from the life stealer for something a little bit more interesting. There will be the silence on top of the Wraith King. He goes in with a blade mail pop. Yajul has his own blade mail pop. He's taken so much damage though, it's not enough. Up top, they continue to look for more. Frasse will catch Babano once again. The Abyssal Blade falls from Corchester. He actually has Rage on, so he's immune to the silence as well. Adding insult to injury. Oh, Sharpie with a little bit of the old flip push down here. I mean, he's fairly visible. They know what he's up to. And they have dispatched Frasse to go and have a look for him. Runes are up in one minute. Frasse's actually just went to the secret shop. He's coming back. Pudge with a buyback. They're going high ground right now. Instead of switching over at the bottom lane like true pros, they've decided to try and push in the entire mid lane. They're ready. They're doing it. The damage is there. Sorry, he does start to throw out a little bit of the curse. Rage off from Courtchester. Not an option for Wraith King. He is going to eat quite a lot of damage. The silence there pushing back even further. Starts to gobble up the creep, but Courtchester is back and the arrow comes through. Babano going to eat that arrow. The tower will fall and now rocks are exposed. They are going to try and go de deep here. Brassi is ready. Does get ruptured up though and that feels pretty bad if your job is to blink in on top of people. Oh! Oh, they hook him back even though he's frozen up. The alt is there. The winter's curse to save him once again. Frassi still holding still. He is no longer um, ruptured though. He can't move now. Does come back in hopefully for the Echo Slam to finish things off. But Tiny Dancer Lois going ham on the Bloodseeker. So much damage. So much speed. Turns it. There will be... Port Chester comes back. The rage to avoid the silence once more. We never did see... That uh, Echo Slam, it's still available. A hook forward. They will take an illusion into the base. It's not really going to help them too much on the backside. Yajul, it seems, is trying to go home. And he will send False Santa home, in fact. Hook in from Babano. It's beautiful. He catches him once again, but he will be back. Wraith King has another life in this situation. Istan is ready. He will be silenced up. The global going to come through. They're burning him down. The damage. The blade mill is trying to protect himself. The hook back in once again from Babano. Are you serious? That is a dead Wraith King. In comes Frosty from the side though. There will be a deny from Babano. 
but he finds Ravi. At least Yajul is back with the blade mail. The call finds Ran. Bloodseeker and I are looking for Frosty, but the blink away is there before the silence lands. Blinked into the trees here. Three down, three buybacks for the Radiant. Punch down, no buyback. 78 seconds. I guess he bought back and died back. Did. Oh, things are tense. Die back for Axe. Die back for. I'll just go. Yeah, still in bad guys. Oh, a sword finished up for Frosse. He is farming nicely, I would say. Not sure why he's playing. Everyone did. The bug, guys. It's um, go. Cool. All right, talent-wise, eighteen percent rupture damage, two hundred seventy-five health, twenty-five attack speed. I guess if you were planning on holding high ground for the next twenty minutes, you may pick up the rupture cool, the uh, um, blood right cooldown as well. Timer: three minutes and fifteen seconds before he can spawn. Chester. Be creeping. There's an invis in here. Maybe Yajul can use this. I think they're waiting for some key items here. Uh, so it's Shiva's guard for Axe. I'm not sure what Bloodseeker is going to pick up next. Um, he's, he's still got quite a lot of room to go through. Alt goes out, will reveal them. Frosty actually invisible though. Looking for somebody to jump out on. Oh, it's gonna be Yajul. They actually catch him in Viz underneath that ward from earlier. I can't even right now. Feels bad, man. Octrine Core was finished up for Zeus, though, at least. Remember, Axe has no buyback. That was, in fact, a dieback now. Um, no buyback for 5 minutes and 40 seconds. 78 seconds without the red menace. And they're just going to start beating down this tower. The creep wave is here, my friends. That's what it means when it's no longer green. The double catapult wave as well. Sherfy to come in with the Nimbus. Reality check goes forward. Oh, they actually managed to hook him back in. His ult, of course, available. He's level 25 after all. But the Winter's Curse onto Ravi. It's a disaster for Dyer. Uh, they will have no silencer. No buyback for silencer either. He's 150 gold short. Managed to hook him back in. At least the tower is gone. The fight, though, still continues. Reality check will be glimmer caped up. Saves him from some of that magic damage. They're trying to run him down, but he's casually walking it off. Boosh continues regardless of their actions. Oh, the Nimbus though, reality check. Oh, the blink far from Sherfy. Nicely done. On the backside though, Babano having to use his Ghost Scepter to try and get out of here. Will be eaten up by Courtchester on the Life Stealer. Nimbus, I think, is going to get dealt with. Ren is able to take out from range. That's already the melee rocks, the range rocks down. Melee in trouble now. He's got another Nimbus, but the rage will protect them. The radiance burn down the creeps. Um, even the range rocks in mid is suffering. Less than. 
Off health left. That feels okay, I think. If you go back, if you want your Wraith King for the next push in, you take out this shrine. That means you're guaranteed to secure the Roshan, which, by the way, that wasn't even a Rosh push. Rosh is up in less than 20 seconds, potentially. Um, along with this regen rune and the Wraith King, they are still no Pudge for 40 seconds. Ones are too strong. Forty-five minutes in, fifteen k net worth. I'll actually show you both because I like that. I guess a refresher for Wraith King. I like this refresher into Ags. That's feels a little meme-y. It feels like it'd be better if there was a meme hammer involved. Um, and he took the talent for stuns. Wraith car Ra Ra Reincarnation cast Wraith Fire Blast. I guess he's going to take plus 25% lifesteal though. 50% lifesteal for the entire team feels good, man. Brent will be at the lead. He's all in vis. Sure if he actually threw out a bolt there. He wasn't detected as far as I saw. Or if they are aware. They are taking precautions. Roshan is up. They know Portchester going to work on it. This is Aegis, Cheese, and Refresher Shard. And uh, if Dyer don't manage to defend against this Rosh, I'm not sure how they can. But if they don't, yeah, it's pretty much curtains. There's the Nimbus. It will show out what is happening here. They aren't able to get into position, though. Rosh taking a little bit of time to go down, but the Skeletons are holding his attention they're all gone now in from the side come the dire but they can't get into position i think they just have to let it go they're trying to push bottom lane in the meantime Sherfy trying to get that wave out as far as possible remember this tower is actually already weakened it's been at a third health for the last three or four pushes as the radiant have focused their efforts elsewhere So Aegis went on to the Life Stealer. Cheese is on the Earth Shaker, right? Oh. Rana? Rana. Who's got the shard? Oh, what's going on up top? They're gonna to work on this rocks, trying to finish it down. It's gone. Melee to fall. They're gonna try and fight through a little bit here. It seems the hook is wide for Court Chester. He'll be fine for now. Found the mid-range sparks at the same time. The creeper in the base, they can actually hit bottom rocks anytime they want, but they're going to focus on the shrine first to stop anyone from TPing in from behind. Bit of break dancing from Life Stealer. Healing himself. Check the old net worth, I bet he's top. Ooh, a cool 28k. Oh, they're not happy about this, though. They're coming for the taunting ass with a taunt of their own. Yajou with the blink and false Santa gets annihilated. He's still alive, though, Jeeves. Yeah, but he's in pain. I'm telling you. Look at me. He's kind of barely crawling away. Courtchester able to turn it right onto Axe, though. Now, Lewis trying to find a kill of his own. He will get the Winter Wyvern, who you think sees invisible, but he's not because he's very low health. In the backside, Sharfy is very low health himself, and he's going to go down. So that's now two for one. All of the arrows flying forward. Down goes Babano, and it's three for one they all have buyback though so maybe not as desperate as it may be and here come those buybacks right now parade of them in fact oh t tours guys all santa up onto the high ground the blinking from yajul on three doing as much damage as he can to court chester but he can't find the duck he's locked down by reality check that's one Aegis pop, but remember, Reality Check has the uh, Reincarnation, and now he has Refresher Orb as well. This man is never going to die. They throw in even more damage, but he's still fine. Blade Mill is doing work. Bloodseeker getting taken out. He will fall. Has buyback, uses it immediately. In comes the Silencer as well. No ult available for him, though. Rupture is up. And this starts to do a bit of damage. He's coming back. He's got another one after this. 
Uh, he will fall now, though. He doesn't have the refresher shard. The tower, meanwhile, taking plenty of damage. They did not get much done. It was barely a third of health on that tower. They've done nothing to the rocks. A good hold from Dyer, but it literally cost them everything. Only ones with buyback at the moment are Life Stealer and Wraith King. That is crazy. Roshan down for 414. Life Stealer no longer has the ages. The cheese is gone. The refresher shard is gone. They do have a gem on Ren though. He could make a fortune working his way down here, taking out all them. Taking out all them wards. Two rocks remain between the dire and mega creeps. Feels like a pretty swift end to the game when they come up. Yep, I guess Zeus can handle them to some what, but this E blade wielding um, Bloodseeker, I'm not so sure. Where's he taking Radiance down? And Yajul still working towards his Shiva's guard. No buyback for 5 minutes and 15 seconds. Seems like he only just got his buyback back. And he's used it again already. 51 minutes into the game. 27k net worth. This could very well be the final push as they go uphill with a double catapult wave. In comes Reality Check. Doesn't have any skeletons to help out. His ult is available though. He tries to turn it around. The battle rage will be cancelled off. Dyer kept in behind those rocks. And the next wave of creep will come in. Actually the silence is early. It does deal with the catapult wave though. Duke doesn't find anything. Fisherman is unfortunate this time. They are wrecking down this barracks here. Annihilating it, you could say, but talking of annihilation, false Sun actually managed to dodge out of the Nimbus. We'll be fine for now. Remember, Reality Check has a second life, kind of actually wants to die given the fact he will slow everyone around, force staff to back in. There's the slow. The rest of the team aren't on point to help him out, though. He will eat a silence and a glimmer cape. They're going to be satisfied, it seems, with that push. Taking only the ranged rocks, leaving them one final melee rocks. Their last hope. Roshan up in two minutes. And they will spot out Frosty with that ultimate, but I don't know how brave they feel right now. Oh, they're not going to wait for the Roshan. They're ready to try to try and gobble up this last Rax here. The silence goes out early. Babano gets caught on the edge. It's not that great of a um, Fisher, but it'll do. It seems Marana comes in, pours the damage down, but Babano, so tanky, able just to walk it off. Uh, it's not going to stop Reality Check, though. He is driving deep in here. That's going to be a melee Rax to fall. The final one. Will he use their lives to do it? It certainly looks like it. He will come back one time. Here's the rocks down, that's mega creeps, and that's a pretty much a nightmare scenario from now onwards for the dire. The silence goes out, Yajul tries to dodge it with the Yules, he's on that team, Jeeves, probably didn't try and dodge it. Okay, good point. Ren gonna get run down, he manages to dodge the ult from the Zeus though, throws down the Winter's Curse, he is... St that's not Winter's Curse, that's Cold Embrace, okay, he manages to heal himself up somewhat, will be caught out, the Winter's Curse went out as well. There's a gem on the deck, but Bano trying to get his way back towards the fountain. It's not going to happen. Three down, no buybacks. The call into the fountain. He's trying to finish off. Poor life stealer here. You say poor life stealer. He's actually very, very rich. Yep, that's true. He's got 4,000 gold there. And uh, Sherfy actually going to call the GG there. There will be no further humiliation in the pit. Oh, wow. This guy gets humiliated one more time. But other than that, very well played from both sides. 
Um, Swansea were pretty shaky from the start. Actually, Swansea played really well from the start. It's just the draft that... Um, um, it's just the draft that they had was not as strong as the Dire draft, apparently. Although, like I said, Bloodseeker into the Lifestealer Wraith King feels pretty bad. Anyway, that was the best of one. Um, Swansea versus... Arts old pre-season um, I am General Givicus and I will catch you guys uh, next time.